All right, so we're here at CES with Joseph Ross from Ford. That's right. And uh, we're in a 2010 Taurus show. That's right. And I know you're going to be showing us some aspects of the new Sync platform. Mm -hmm. That's It'll right. It'll be available to uh, existing 2010 models and in the new My4 Touch. And in the new My4 Touch, that's right. So what are you going to show? Okay, so we're going to start off with Pandora. Uh, it's running on my Motorola Droid here. Um, and you can see it, it, it's connected to the vehicle via, via Bluetooth. And you can see we have this uh, screen. We call it the lockout screen. Oh, let me turn that right back on. Excuse me. Um, this, we call this the lockout screen, and this prevents the user from interacting with Pandora using the mobile device. You can see none of this response to anything. There's minimal menu options just allowing you to quit the application. Um, and this prevents the user from being distracted from their driving and messing with the mobile device while driving. And the thing is, we can control this application using the vehicle controls, and it really provides a great user experience. So we'll start off by going to the mobile applications menu, and then we'll choose Pandora. And you'll see it displays some song and artist information. I'll go ahead and turn the uh, volume up so we can hear the music play. Now we can uh, control the application using the buttons on the dashboard, the steering wheel, and via voice. Um, so just like the normal radio, we can use these presets along the top to change stations. So you can see it's changing to the Dave Matthews Band Station. So what it's doing is it's using your mobile app as the connectivity and the, the content but you're controlling it through the dash. That's right, and Sync doesn't know anything about the application logic. Sync doesn't know anything about Pandora. What it knows is how to um, you know, forward the interface events back and forth between the mobile application and the vehicle. Very interesting. So it allows us to add new applications um, just by installing them onto the phone. Got it. Um, so we can also change stations using the voice command. Press the voice button here. Pandora, please say a command. Play station Owl City Radio. Tuning to station Owl City Radio. Then you can see we get both a visual and an audio confirmation of the command, so you never even have to look down at the display if you don't want to. Um, we can, you know, we're also going to use all of the buttons as intuitively as possible, so we can play and pause using the play and pause button here. And I can also skip to the next track using the seek right button. takes a second for the audio to start streaming. Pandora also has several features that don't logically map to buttons on the vehicle, but fortunately we can access all this through voice. So if I want to hear more songs like this on the station in the future, I can thumb this song up. Pandora, please say a command. Thumbs up. And then I can also bookmark this artist so that I can go back later online and, you know, buy this song or album from Amazon or iTunes. Okay. Now we're going to show you the OpenBeak application. This is a Twitter client running on a BlackBerry Storm right here. Um, so this application is connected to the vehicle via Bluetooth, and we'll go ahead and access it through the mobile applications menu here. So we select Mobile Applications, OpenBeak. There are zero new tweets. Now when OpenBeak is brought into focus, it will let you know how many new tweets have occurred since the app started. This is a tightly controlled account, so we don't have any new tweets, but we can go ahead and use a voice command to read the timeline of tweets of the people we're following. OpenBeak, please say a command. Read timeline. Check out the latest technology for your car, a lesson in optics and a new extreme fitness device. Tweet includes a URL from tiny.cc sent about nine hours ago. Zias at the Consumer Electronics Show, listening to this tweet on site via my Ford Touch, sent one day ago. My Ford Touch is a breakthrough in automotive user interface design sent one day ago. So as you can see, it shows who published the tweet, when it was published, and we can browse through the tweets using the seek right and left Developers buttons on the steering wheel here. So I can arrow back to one of the Daily Planet tweets. Zias at the Consumer Electronics Show. And Listening to this tweet on site via my Ford Touch. And then so if I wanted to skip go. past this tweet and see some other my ones, Ford we can just hit <laughs> seek forward. So again... Did you hear about the mobile app? It's a, it's a very simple interface, but it does everything we need. It lets us, you know, read the tweets that we're interested in and do it in a safe way. Good. Well, thanks very much. Thank you.